Hello and welcome to Digital Woodcarver. My name is Lenny and I'm going to walk you through downloading and installing your Planet CNC TNG motion controller software for your new Digital Woodcarver. So the first thing that you're going to want to do after you get your CNC machine set up is we need to go online to the digitalwoodcarver.com website. So www.digitalwoodcarver.com. Once you get to the Digital Woodcarver website, you want to go to the Owner's menu and click on the Support and Downloads option. This will take you to the Support and Downloads page. All right, once you get to the Support and Downloads page, you're going to uh, find your unit uh, files here by picking the model that matches your system. Uh, you'll click the Download and Setup files and it'll automatically download to your computer. Now, when it downloads, it's going to download as a zip file. And most likely, as a default, it'll probably go to your downloads folder. But we want to navigate to wherever it downloaded. And we want to open that zip file up so that we can extract the files. Now, the Extract All option is at the top of the File Explorer window. If you do not see the Extract All option, look for the Extract Compressed tool, Folder Tools. Uh, you'll click on that and it will present this extract all option for you to extract the zip file so we want to go ahead and click that okay once the extraction wizard opens up just go ahead and click extract and that will open up the zip file for you and uh, give you access to the unzipped files which is what we want to get into now once the files are unzipped, there are a series of photos in that uh, kind of uh, uh, gallery, if you will. Uh, within those folders, we have provided some files, some sample files for you to uh, run or explore. Uh, we provided some fonts and other very helpful information uh, to help you with your installation and setup of not only your Planet CNC TNG software, but also your Vetric software and everything as well. What we want to look for is the Planet CNC TNG software files folder, and we want to go ahead and double click and open that up. Now, within that folder, you're going to have a PDF uh, basically walking you through the steps that I'm actually walking you through in this video. So you'll have some steps that you can read if you need to follow along with those. Uh, you're going to have your units profile folders, which is what we're going to mainly be focusing on. And then you're going to actually have the Planet CNC software setup file that you need to run. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up the Planet CNC TNG software folder. And we're going to open that up and run the install file. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Simply double click on that and our installation wizard will pop up to open and install that file. When it asks for permission to run, go ahead and click yes in the option. If you if that option comes up, uh, it'll ask for permission to make changes to your computer. Click yes, and then we'll get the uh, installation wizard. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and click our next options until we get to the install. And during the installation, we may get a second install window or it might just run straight to finish. Okay, we went straight to finish. So our software is now installed onto the computer. Now, at first, uh, it may open up the software automatically for you right after you click finish. And uh, for here, it did me. So if I come over here and click on this, uh, the software is right here, but it's not quite ready to use just yet. We've got to install the setting files and set up the profiles for the software before we start carving on the machine. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and just close out of the program that opened up. We're going to open it up later, but we need to have it closed while we set up our profiles and our shortcuts for the unit. So let's go back to our setup files that we downloaded and extracted earlier. And let's go back into that Planet CNC TNG software files folder. And what we want to do now is we want to open up the model profile folders, your model. It could be the 1824, the 2440, the 4848, or the 5100. You'll have a profile folder there for that model. Go ahead and open that up and we need access to the three profile folders. Now we have three profile folders here for you. One is mill mode, another is laser mode, and then we have fourth axis mode. 
Now your machine may just be a three axis machine. Uh, you may not have a fourth axis or a digital laser. You might have the fourth axis attachment for your machine or you might have the laser attachment. Uh, regardless of what your unit and setup is, we're going to take and actually copy all three of these file folders and we're going to install them into the Planet CNC software so that they will be uh, installed and ready for future use if you ever get any of those additional items or accessories. So what we need to do is go ahead and select uh, the first folder, which in our case is going to be fourth axis mode. Hold down the shift key and select on mill mode and it'll highlight all three of them. We can right click and from the menu, we're going to choose copy. Once we've copied that, we can go ahead and go into the menu on the side of our file explorer here. And we can go into the C drive of our computer, program files, and planet CNC. And inside the planet CNC folder, we will see a profiles folder here for you. Now, when we open this up by <coughs> default, there is a default folder. Uh, what we want to do is we want to right click and paste the three other profile folders in this uh, uh, folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on do this for all current items. So that way I don't have to keep clicking continue on the administrative permission. We'll go ahead and click continue and it will just install all of the files and folders. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and start focusing on setting up our actual shortcuts to uh, link to each of these profile folders. Okay, so the next step is we want to close down any programs or file explorer windows that we have open and get back to the main desktop of our computer. On that main desktop, we're going to take our mouse and right click on the screen and we're gonna come down to the menu option of new and over to shortcut. Now when the shortcut wizard opens up, we're going to click the browse option and we need to browse to the Planet CNC TNG program. So we're gonna start with clicking on this PC, followed by the C drive of your computer. We're gonna click on the program files folder and then we're gonna scroll down and click on the Planet CNC folder, which you'll see here. Now, once we click on the Planet CNC folder, we want to come down and select the Planet CNC 64 file. With that selected, we can click OK, and that will place that EXE file in the location of the item box. Go ahead and click Next at the bottom of the screen, and now it needs us to name the profile. Now, this is very important. The name of the profile, uh, we're going to come in here and type in our DWC underscore and in this case it's going to be mill mode I'm setting up the profile for when we're carving on the table but you may be setting up the fourth axis mode shortcut or the laser mode shortcut you're basically going to repeat these steps for each of those shortcuts that you're going to be creating on your desktop. And in this case, I only have a three axis machine. So we're going to set up just the one and the steps to set up the other two are the same. So you would just follow the same steps over again. So in this case, that DWC underscore, we're going to name this mill underscore mode. And we have that DWC underscore mill mode. And we're going to go ahead and click finish and the shortcut named mill mode already exists on my computer. Uh, it asks if I want to replace it and I'm going to just say yes. Okay, so now I have the DWC mill mode icon on my screen, the shortcut, and I'm just going to move it up here into the corner. And what we need to do now is we need to link this shortcut to our profile folder. So we're gonna right click on the icon and we're gonna come down to our properties menu. And in our properties menu on the target, the URL that's currently in the target, we're gonna put our mouse cursor right at the very end of that URL past that last quote mark. And we're going to click a space bar to give ourselves a space. And we're gonna type in a minus sign with the letter P, a lowercase p. We're going to hit the space bar again to give ourselves another space and then we're going to name our shortcut link uh, target. 
So we're going to DWC1824 underscore mill underscore mode. Now this name here, this DWC1824 mill mode, this is the name that needs to match exactly our profile folders within our Planet CNC software. So if you'll notice here, my mill mode is DWC1824 underscore mill with a capital M underscore mode with a capital M. So that's the target. That's what that icon, that shortcut is going to be pointing to this target here. So it has to have the same exact name. Okay. So uh, once again, right at the end of that initial target, you're going to put your mouse behind that cursor, hit that space bar and type in that minus P another space followed by that profile folder name. And in our case, it's capital DWC 1824 underscore mill with a capital M underscore mode with a capital M. Once I have that typed in, I can go ahead and click apply and then I can click OK. And that will link the uh, shortcut here on the desktop to that profile folder. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and double click on the icon and open up the program. Now at the time of opening the program, it's going to ask if the app or the program can make changes to the device. You're going to select yes. And it's going to ask you this question every time you go to open the program. So you want to make sure that you always click yes. Okay, so as you can see, uh, our program is open here. And in the top right corner of the screen, DWC 1824 mill mode, uh, we've got our nice green background here. We've got our tools that are automatically loaded for us uh, for our quick set uh, tool. If you have the DWC quick set zeroing tool, uh, the tools for that are loaded already. And what we need to do now is we need to go in and set the settings and make it connect to the uh, program and to the CNC machine. Now, ideally, we want to be connected to the CNC machine by connecting the USB cable that was provided from your control box or the back of your machine, if you have the 1824 model, uh, to your computer. So we want to plug that in. Now, if we go to the file menu here, we're going to go down to settings. And within the settings menu, uh, when it pops up, on the screen, the second option is the connection option. We want to go ahead and go into connection. Now, currently, uh, I have the word simulation here because I'm running a simulation. But what we want is your board uh, will be listed in this box right below the word simulation. Uh, when that board is listed, you're going to double click on that board uh, number that's under the word simulation and it's going to put it up into this primary controller box here. Once you double click and put your board up into the primary controller, you can go ahead and click OK uh, to close that settings window. Now, at the time that you do that, you're going to look at the very bottom right of the screen down here and you should have a green LED. Now, your green LED is going to uh, have a faded gray X in the middle of it. And that gray X means that we need to install the license code for the software, the license key code. Now that key code has been emailed to you by Digital Woodcarver. And we're going to check your email and make sure that uh, you have it. If you do not, uh, you will contact us uh, at either dialing 833-392-2621 uh, extension number two, or you can contact us by email at sales at digitalwoodcarver.com. All right, I went ahead and uh, copied one of the license codes uh, from the email into a simple text document here so that you could see what it looks like. So at the beginning here, we have key code and it's followed by a series of characters. And at the very end, we have the ending forward slash key you want to make sure that you copy the entire key code from your email uh, so that we can paste it into the Planet CNC program. Okay, don't miss any of the characters and make sure there are no spaces at the end of that key bracket and at the beginning. We want to get a nice copy of that license code. 
Once you have the license code copied back in your Planet CNC software, you're going to go to the help menu, down to license management, and over to my licenses. And that's going to open up uh, the license list for you, and uh, you will not have any license in your list. You're going to click on import, and when you do, it's automatically going to paste the code that you have copied on your clipboard. It's automatically going to paste it in there. If it does not, simply click paste from clipboard to put that license code in. Once it's pasted in there, you're going to go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to simply close the license list. Now, after you've done that, if it was successful uh, and the license went in successfully, down at the bottom right, you will have a green LED uh, with no gray X in the middle. And that means that the software is fully communicating with your CNC machine. You can now uh, safely power up the machine and move around with your pendant or with the software if you have a mini carver uh, and get ready to carve your very first project. Be sure to check out our other video on how to download and install your Vetric software uh, so that you can uh, begin to design uh, and that way you can get in here to the controller software and run your very first project. And be sure to uh, check out our other videos that we have on the digitalwoodcarver.com website support and download page. Uh, some of the information there may be helpful for you. Uh, once again, my name is Laney Shaughnessy, and if you have any questions or uh, get stuck along the way, you can always pick up the phone uh, and contact us, or you can simply email us at sales at digitalwoodcarver.com. And once again, that contact number is 833-392-2621, extension number two. Until next time, have a great day.